All right, class. Um, I wish you were here, but since you can't do it, I'll show you. Now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna show you guys how to do the silver acetate uh, lamp. Now, the first thing is this. I will be doing it, it'll be a two week process. First week, to prepare the silver uh, acetate solution by reacting with copper. Then afterward, the second week when you come in, then what you then do is you're going to uh, make the co standardized copper solution and then you're going to read it with a UV vis spectrometer and then you'll take the three samples that you made previous week and then you're going to stick it into the spectrometer. Okay? So, now to get the first week done, what you do is this. Gather three test tubes, three stoppers that fits. Ah, uh, there's a stopper right there. Okay? And then you want to get three pieces of aluminum foil that you could cover the tube with because the silver acetate solution is photo is a light sensitive. And then you also want to get uh, three str uh, strips of uh, copper wire, about yay, about six, eight inches. You don't have to be precise about that. Now what you then do is that once you have gotten the copper wires, then what you then do is you use, a uh, you use the uh, sandpaper and you're gonna scrape out all the plastic. So then what you do is while it's still straight, what you do is I go and scrape it until it's like a shiny penny, okay? Now, hey you guys, you guys notice I'm wearing goggles as well as gloves. Now, the reason why you wear a glove is you don't want your hand cut when you're doing this ascending of the paper, okay? So, don't pretend I already did it. So in that case, what you then do is you get a pencil and you wrap the copper wire into a coil, yay. And then what you then do is like this. And then what you do is I take the, the test tube, stretch the wa copper wire to about half the length of your test tube. And then what you then do is shove it in. Okay, like that. Shove it in. And then what you then do is that, you gotta do it for all three, okay? I'm just doing one. Now, next thing you said, you go to the, uh, you go to the hood where they have the bottle of silver acetate. It's in a brown bottle because it's also light sensitive. And what you then do is this. Before you put the uh, solution in, make sure you wrap the test tube with the uh, aluminum foil because you don't want light hitting it once you get the solution, yeah? So, yeah, it's funky like that, it's okay. As long as it's covered. Then what you then do is lift it up so you can see it. And what you then do is put the uh, disposable pipette in. And hey, you guys, go to the middle. Do not go to the bottom to get the dregs. And don't go to the top where all the dregs are also. And what you then do is you go and squirt, squirt, squirt. And what you want to do is that you want to fill the solution so it's to the top of the coil. Then what you do is shove it back in. And then what you do is just put the stopper on. So once you get all three, what you do is park into the beaker and wait for a week so that the, so, uh, so that the copper can reduce the silver down. So next week when you guys come in, you have a blue solution. And the darker the blue, the more sil uh, copper there is, telling you there's more silver regionally in it. Okay, so anyway, for now, we'll call it for a week. All right, class. Now, this is the elapsed time video, so therefore, this is the next week. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make the standardized solution, okay? So what you need would be something like this. You'll need uh, the uh, copper two acetate solution, okay? And then what you got over here is you got a rod, a burette clamp, the burette. And then what you need is you also need four volumetric uh, flasks, 120, uh, let's see, the uh, 25 milliliter volumetric uh, flask. And also for each one of those guys, you also need a disposable pipette, okay? You don't want to cross contaminate. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is this. I've um, cheated in the sense that I've rinsed the burette already, and since at this time of the class, you know how to uh, rinse a burette, yeah? So what I'm going to do is that, let me go back to this guy. And of course, the thing is that don't do that at the table. Go to the sink. That way you don't go and pour that thing onto the floor. That would suck. So in that case, what you do is that, all right, fill it to a no volume. And what you then do is I put it back on the clamp. Now, I actually got some solution on me. So the thing is that I'm going to quickly rinse. Okay, no panic. Okay, there. 
Now, what you want to do is this. You want to prepare the solution according to the recipe on page 104. That's that, yeah? So what you do is you're going to take the initial volume, and then you're going to add successively to get the target, okay? I'll do one of them. So what you do is that this says uh, 13.00. So first thing is that I need to go 12.5. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. You're supposed to label the flash with the correct concentration. Otherwise, you're going to mix things up. I did that. Well, anyway, now what you then do is that this is the highest concentration. You go 12.5. So 13 plus 12.5, the target is 23.25.5. Uh, yeah, so in that case, what you then do is go like this. Put the burette into the flask. And here's the thing. You know, do you see the uh, flask? There's a pot belly right there. That's where the tip of the burette goes. Okay, so in that case, here we go. 13, and what did I say? 25.5, right? Okay, good. Here we go. Watch this. Okay, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, yeah, okay. Now they do the quick 180s. Yeah, yeah, wah, 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 wah. Okay, there we go. 25.5, okay? Now what you then do is pull it up. Now what you then do is this. Now you got a solution like this. Now what you then do is this. You have a beaker of water. So what you do is I pour the water to get to the shoulder. So here we go. Get it to the shoulder. Yes, there we go. Now notice that there's a line right there. So each flask has it in a different place. Therefore get the water to the line. And you use a squirt bottle for that. Yes? Here we go. Wow. Yes. There we go. There we go. Got it. You're right at the line. Yeah? Then what you do is this. Put the stopper back in. Y'all. Yeah. And then this is what you do. Hand like this. Maracas. Yeah? Like that. Now it's shaking. Yeah? So what you do is that you do this thing for the other one according to the recipe. So... Once you do that, then I cheated. Then what happens? You have four different solutions like that, yeah? And what happens is you want the darkest one to the lighter one to the lightest and the lightest, yes? Now you got four solutions that you can use for calibration. The fifth one, the point one double zero, you can take it straight out of the burette, okay? So that's the preparate, this concludes the preparation of the calibration solutions, all right? Good. I hope you got there. All right, class, now that we made the solution, now it's time to go and use the UV vis spectrometer to go and uh, see how much light comes through the sample, okay? So what you got over here is that you have this particular screen. There's various options here. The option that we want is the one in the middle, and it says live display, okay? So we've already warmed up this instrument for about 20 minutes, so we didn't show you that because we don't want you sitting there doing that. So in that case, what you then do is to set the instrument up, in, instrument up push live display, and then push percent transmittance. And then what you then do is you type in the wavelength. And it's, what, what we want is this copper has an absorption peak max of about 750. So we'll put, type in 750. So and then say enter. Okay? So in that case, we'll be monitoring at that particular wavelength. Now what you want to do is the next thing you want to do is to open this guy up. And you want to do a background. So what you do is you have a cuvette. Now the cuvette is this plastic looking thing here. You gotta notice that on one end I'm holding the ribbed end and then that's the transparent end, okay? That one you do not touch. You grab the ribbon, okay? Now what you then do is I go like this, get the squirt bottle and you go at, no, my hand. All right, put water into it, okay? And then what you then do is this. The light goes this way. So therefore what you wanna do is that the ribbon go perpendicular to that, stick it in. And then what you then do is close the door you don't want to see the light and then push blank and what it does it gives the background okay now after that is done what does it say uh, okay just do it again blanking that's what it's saying measuring okay in that case what happens is that it automatically sets a hundred percent transmittance okay that's your background now the next thing you want to do is this put in your solution okay so what you do is I pour the water away and then what you want to do is I get one of these solutions. There's that. 
and oh, I, okay, there's that. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the solution into the cuvette. Okay, so squeeze. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now what you then do is this. Now that you got that, what you then do is to stick it into that area three times. Okay, so in, shut, and it reads it automatically. It says 24.0. Okay, then what you then do is that, now each one will be different. And then what you then do, take it back out, and then what you then do is that put it back in and do it again, and it should read about the same number. Okay. So each one of them will have different numbers. Now the thing is that we'll be providing you with data, okay? So once you've done that, you switch to the next solution by rinsing the cuvette with the next solution, pouring it off, and you just do that for all the solutions, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is this. We're gonna prepare, uh, I'm gonna go to the next thing, I'm gonna show you guys how to get a process a sample. Close it. All right, class. Now what happened is this. Now that we've calibrated the instrument with the calibrating solution, now let's go take your sample. So you got those three aluminum foil samples, like one of these, it's but ugly, it's okay. And then you want uh, well, a test tube that caught for each one of those tubes, okay? And then you also want a disposable pipette for each one. You don't want to cross-contaminate, okay? So this is what you do. Pull it out. Ah, that's what it's supposed to look like, okay? It's kind of blue. And that woolly bully coil right there, that's a silver precipitated out, yeah? So what you want to do is you want to take that out into the test tube, and then afterward, then you uh, read these, you read it on the mass, on the uh, UV vis, okay? So this is what you do, like this, hold two tubes together like so. Now, one thing you do is this, squeeze the bulb before you go in, because you don't want to generate bubble, you generate a lot of muck. In that case, here we go, like this, draw, put in the other one. Draw, put in the other one. Draw, put in the other one. Remember, squeeze the bolt before you go in, okay? And also try not to touch the coil. Okay, so try to draw as, many, as much as solution as you can without touching the copper coil, okay? So, okay, I'm gonna pretend that I got a lot, okay? Right there, okay? Now this is solution I'm going to uh, take out. That's one of the three tubes. I'm gonna uh, read that on the uh, UV vest spectrometer, okay? Now, what you do is this. The UVV spectrometer is already calibrated, so don't touch the buttons anymore, okay? All you have to do is pour this solution into the cuvette, stick it in and out three times, and you're done. Understand? So, here we go. I'll do one for the heck of it. Uh, actually, where's the, where is the cuvette? Oh, there it is. Give me another one. Okay, so pull that one out. Hey, by the way, you should use the same cuvette. Understand? Because you just calibrate it. Any one of you guys who try to get five cuvette and do that, you're really messing it up. So don't do that. Anyway, so here it goes. And what you do is I use the, yeah, let me bring it down. So what you then do is I backfill that with the solution you drew into the test tube and don't splatter like I did. That was very careless of me. Okay, then what you then do is this. All you have to do is stick it in shut the door and I'll read it yes and you can do that three more uh, two more time three two more time for each of the for each two so in a total of three samples okay in that case hey once you record these numbers you are done okay all right class now what you do is when you're doing this thing what you guys gonna do is that you're gonna go from the bottom up okay so therefore you go from the lightest solution to the darkest solution because when you're rinsing you go this way any mistake from the dark solution will mess up the other one. If you go this way from the bottom up, then any uh, washing mistake will be covered up by the other ones, okay? So therefore, you calculate your data. Actually, actually you measure your data three times, take the average, uh, calculate the absolute uh, absorbance, and then the data go here, goes for those three test tubes that you got, okay? And once you got all these data in, time to go home.